On April 25, 1945, Secretary of War Henry L. Stimson delivered to Harry S. Truman a complete report on the most expensive and secret American enterprise of the Second World War, the most terrible weapon in human history, the atomic bomb. With the development of this bomb, President Truman dealt with the impending event by establishing the Interim Committee, led by Stimson. On June 1, 1945, this committee, not fully understanding the power of the weapon, recommended use of the bomb against Japan without warning. It was certain that Truman would accept the advice. Soon after, the development of the atomic bomb was complete with hugely successful results. Truman assumed that this great weapon would force Japan to surrender. A full report of the test, held near El Magordo in New Mexico desert, gave the details of the results. It had a force of 15 to 20,000 tons of TNT, a fireball that lasted several seconds, a mushroom cloud rising 41,000 feet above sea level, and a 1,200-foot wide crater. On July 25, 1945, Truman gave final permission to use this bomb. The next day, the United States, Great Britain, and China delivered the Potsdam Declaration demanding the unconditional surrender of Japan. They stated that if Japan refused, destruction was inevitable. Japan rejected the proclamation, and Prime Minister Suzuki declared that Japan would not give up until the end of the war. At approximately 8.11 a.m. on August 6th, a B-29 airplane, the Enola Gay, piloted by Colonel Paul Tibbets, dropped a 9,700-pound atomic bomb named Little Boy over Hiroshima from an elevation of 31,600 feet. Most citizens were obliterated instantly, leaving only a shadow, and others were injured, their clothes burned on their skin. An estimated 75,000 people, mostly civilians, were killed simultaneously. Tens of thousands would later die from the effects of radiation, about 200,000 casualties combined. No other weapon in history had killed so many people at once. With no from Japan, Truman did not hinder the use of the second bomb. On August 9th at 11 a.m., a B-29 airplane named Boxcar dropped a second atomic bomb named Batman on Nagasaki. The death and devastation was perhaps half that of Hiroshima, with about 40,000 casualties and 60,000 more injured, yet it was still beyond imagination. On August 9th, the Japanese emperor overruled the country's leaders, stating, I swallow my own tears and give my sanction to the proposal to accept the Allied proclamation. But they would not surrender unconditionally. The Japanese still insisted on keeping the emperor's position as head of state. Truman wanted Japan to meet American terms with the understanding that the emperor would be overpowered by the Allied Supreme Commander. Nothing else was heard from Japan. On August 13th, Truman offers one last 1,000 airplane raid on the city of Tokyo. After, the Emperor demanded acceptance of the United States offer. On August 14th, the United States received Japanese acceptance of American surrender terms. That evening, Truman pronounced the end of the Second World War. The fighting was over. Formal negotiations of the Japanese surrender took place in the following weeks, and on September 2, 1945, a formal ceremony for the surrender took place on the deck of the USS Missouri. Despite the terrible destruction and deaths of thousands of people, the atomic bombs ended the deadly war. After years of fighting, the world could finally look forward, working towards peace.